in my last video, or maybe it was two videos ago, I can't really remember. Anyways, I walked you through this specific row unit right here, how it all goes together, and how the planter and its many, many components work together to put a seed in the ground. Um, but today we're just going to be finishing up putting all the rest of the Truvies, gauge wheels, and mug scrapers on. You can see them all laid out here. And then I think we might also be taking off these things here, this over the top fertilizer system. We're taking a quick break from the planter because a special delivery has arrived. So I'm gonna pull the geo out and the surprise is gonna pull in. So a small little addition to Laura Farm is this glorious looking fuel trailer. So this is from Stellar Industries. They have been gracious enough to bring this out to the farm. I'm so excited to use this for planting season. Let me take you through a few of the exciting parts of it. So the most exciting part is that it has my name on it. I, I think that's pretty cool. But come over here and this is Troll Central with its nice little lighting so you can see everything. So we have a thousand gallon fuel tank for diesel. And then we also have 100 gallons of diesel exhaust fluid. And then here we have the nice nozzles. I mean... That thing's a hog. It doesn't get any more brand new than this. Oh, it's not even greasy yet. No. Just huh? wait, like... Look at how clean this A thing week is. into planting season, this thing's going to be covered in oil. <laughs> no, no, Or covered no. in diesel. No, no, no. We're going to take care of this thing. going to keep it clean? Yeah, exactly. And then... Yeah, that, that is awesome. And then on the other side, over here, it has my name on this side too. Open it up. And then you have storage over here. And then Grant and I were thinking that maybe you could put some kind of like air compressor type thing right here, or just additional storage. And then it's got lights on this side too. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about you, Grant. I don't know if you're excited. Dude, I, I am so jealous. This thing would look so good behind my pickup. And, but it's yeah. got to go to Laura Farm. It's, so. It goes to me. Can I pick up Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. For sure. Yeah, this yeah. thing is tricked out. Like All the, the features. The pickup will charge the battery, lights. It's got this baffle system in the tank so you can drive this thing. 75 down the interstate. They said it would work and that the no baffles would, would fall out. And then it's not actually like welded to the frame of the trailer. It's like a spring loaded system. So I can take, so I can take this thing through a ditch and we'd be fine. It's made to beat on. <laughs> exactly. And so, you can walk all over the fenders. Yeah, exactly. All you these, can put a little stuff, a little bit of stuff up there. I yes. was thinking maybe we could put some uh, seed bags up here. Damn, it's tripping on snowmobiles everywhere. Jeez. These things are everywhere. Okay, I'm realizing I forgot to mention like the most important part of this. So these trailers are made in Hastings, Nebraska. Like this exact trailer was made in Hastings, Nebraska. And that Which is just is like a few miles down the road. So, so close. super, super close. So I think we're also going to be getting like a little like factory plant tour to see how these things are made sometime so in the near future. Um, but anyway, so Nebraska based company, they also have locations in Iowa and I think they just bought one in Pennsylvania. Yeah, they do a lot of other stuff like truck bodies or yeah. like service bodies or something. So. Mm -hmm. Anyways, very cool company. Um, I've got the link to their website in my description. 
All right. Now that that's all delivered, back to finishing up the planner. Uh, so what do you think of the new roller? I love it! <laughs> Somebody sent us this in the mail. And I thought mine was okay, but this thing is way better. I it's... know it doesn't look like that, but please, that's good. Yeah, I was dizzy. This thing, this thing is awesome. Are my eyes moving? You dizzy? Very. So, so close. All of the planter is done. Every single one, except these two. Now you might be wondering, Laura and Grant, the planter has been in the shop for what? A month now? How is it possible? Now, we've sat down to work on this thing no less than 10 times, but every single time we come up with missing parts. So this time we are missing, we need eight washers, we need one, three, two, two, new sets of scrapers. two new sets of scrapers and four um, bolts, or not bolts. Um, and we need one reverse threaded. One reverse threaded. No. A anyways, the point is we're still missing parts. So I guess I lied. We're not finishing the planter today. If I go get the parts, I guess you could go get the parts. If they're in stock. If they're in stock. I guess that just means one more full day of working on the planter. After we install all the stuff, we're going to take all the, well, there's no, you got to install that broken spring too. Oh yeah. Wasn't there another broken spring along the way? Somewhere. I was looking for I think there was, I think there was, I think there's one down there too. <sighs> we have another day at least of working on the planner. I'm getting hungry. Okay, so before we wrap up today's video, I got another something. <laughs> so delivered today was a fuel trailer, but also, oh, you guys can be excited about this. Okay, so it everything hasn't all been put together yet because it came in like six different packages, but that is a plasma cutter and that is a welder from HTP, um, like American Welders. And they sent over a ton of stuff. This is a cart. There's all sorts of cords and gloves and everything um, but you can find them at usaweld.com they also you guys are gonna get a serious kick out of this shirt hold on look at this drive a lincoln drink a miller weld with an htp obviously i think that is just hilarious anyways they sent out these welders because they knew that grant was on the hunt and so stay tuned once we get all this put together um, we're going to be welding and cutting stuff with a plasma cutter, which I've never done before. So thank you for watching today's video. Uh, stay tuned for more. If you haven't already subscribed, now's your time. See you guys later.